More and more eco-friendly businesses are coming to the den and their green claims always get added scrutiny from the dragons. Will our next entrepreneur withstand the questioning? Paul Tinton from Surrey wants a £200,000 investment. Hello Dragons, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Paul Tinton from Pro Waste Management Services. I'm here today offering you the opportunity to invest in our company. In return for a £200,000 investment, we'd be prepared to give away a 20% equity stake in our company. Pro Waste Management Services is a construction recycling specialist. We've recently launched to the refurbishment and construction se sector a waste separation and recycling solution through the hire of colour-coded wheelie bins, individual waste stream collections in specialist vehicles and a waste consultancy and planning service from project tender to project completion. As you're all aware, there's increased public and governmental pressure on companies in all industries to find the best environmental solution for managing its waste to stop sending waste to landfill. We've been in the marketplace for 15 months and have achieved a turnover of £350,000 with a gross profit of just less than 20% and a net profit of just under 10%. With your investment and your support, we would spend the, the investment money on increasing our fleet of vehicles, relocating to a London location to be closer to our clients, and increasing staffing to match the increased demand for our service. If you've got any questions about the construction waste management industry, or pro-waste in general, please feel free to ask. Thank you very much. A confident 28-year-old Paul Tinton has already captured the attention of the Dragons with his impressive turnover figures. But will they be enough to secure a massive £200,000 investment in his waste management company? Hello, Paul. Hello there. I I'm Deborah. Hello, Deborah. I understand overall what you're doing, but I'm not clear. You provide these bins, yep. then you have vehicles that come round and collect these bins, yep. and then you separate them and you send them off to whoever is the relevant recycling unit. Yes, we actually separate the waste on site, Deborah, so that it's put into the individual bins, and then a lorry specifically just picking up one waste stream takes it from a site to a recycling facility. OK, and what, what is happening in the waste industry? I mean, it's, it, there's quite a... It's yeah. getting quite costly to um, dispose of. That's right. Landfill tax, the government is, is very keen to stop sending waste to landfill and it's increasing landfill tax to try and deter, um, specifically, the construction se sector from sending waste to landfill. Last question. Why would I choose you? I mean, there's obviously the reasons, if I was a construction company, and there's obviously the reasons of because I, I would actually like, I'd like to do the right thing. Yeah. But are you cost effective? Yeah, we can, we, we actually come in in the market just slightly cheaper than the landfill operators. Um, so, for example, actual prices, I mean, £12 per bin is about the industry standard. And um, at the moment, we're trading at £11.50 to £12.50 per bin. So price-wise, we're competitive with the larger companies taking waste to landfill. It's a sure-footed response to some quick-fire questions from Deborah Meaden. James Kahn is ready to keep up the pressure. Paul, if I'm one of these clients of yours, what are my alternative options to achieve the same objective? To achieve the same recycling rates is very, very hard to do because standard practice has been to, to mix the waste on collection and by the time it gets to a transfer station it's nearly impossible to separate these waste streams without sending a lot to landfill because it's been contaminated by the other waste streams. Construction projects have to be accountable for the waste that they, they create and have to understand where it's being sent to and try and find the best environmental option. This is the, their solution really to that. You know, this, but you this, said it have to, I mean is that a legal obligation? It's a legal obligation from April the 7th the new law was brought in. April the 7th this year? Yeah. Paul 
Bull's composure in dealing with the dragon's questions is going down well in the den. Now though, Theopophetus is ready to have his say. Paul, Theo. You've got another business, haven't you? No, this is... This is, is this the only business you've this got? This is my only business interest, yeah. Basically, the opportunity came up. My, a colleague and best friend of mine was running a demolition company which was becoming very successful and through the network of clients that he'd built up as main contractors, we saw the opportunity ourselves to try and network through his existing clients to manage their waste once the demolition stage of a project had finished. I've been out there, I've done it myself to actually understand the industry. I went out and understood the marketplace myself, spoke to the clients. Anybody goes out from start and get £350,000 turnover has had to work incredibly hard. Um, and I actually believe I can't add value to this business. I think a lot of the help that we need is, is, is you've, you've all experienced companies going through rapid growth. You've, been, you've seen it. You've seen the problems that companies face and how to help and manage that process. And I think your involvement doesn't have to be industry specific and focused. That argument might work if you're asking me for a small amount of money and I think this guy's worth backing. Yeah. I'll take a punt on him. I ain't going to take a punt for £200,000. OK, sir. So, good for trying. Thank you, Theo. But yeah. it's not for me, so no I'm afraid I'm going to have to say I'm out. Thank you. It's a first setback, but there are still four remaining dragons. Will Duncan Bannatyne be willing to invest £200,000 in Paul's new company? Who, who owns the company? I have a 50% stake and my best friend and partner Colin Slade also has a 50% stake. I personally invested £25,000, um, Colin invested £25,000 um, and we sourced £21,500 from family investment um, to back the idea. And, uh, but the family investment, have got no shares? It's been done as a loan, yeah, it's 50%, 50% and we've, we've taken okay. £21,500 so, as a loan. If it's a loan that means the balance sheet is showing a debt? Yeah. We have a, a total. Debt? We, we've put our £25,000 as a debt as well. Yep. So it's, the total debt is 71500 with 40000 of of um, higher purchase through Barclays for the vehicles. OK. So you've got 71000 in debt yep. from directors and family and That's right. shareholders or whatever, and forty for the vehicles. That's correct. Would you and Colin and your family transfer your debt into equity? Possibly, yes. OK, so subject to you doing that, I'm willing to make you an offer of half the money you've asked for. OK. So I'm willing to offer you £100,000. Now, you were looking for 10% for £100,000. That's correct. 20%. But for my £100,000, I'd want 20%. Duncan Bannatyne has sensed an opportunity and made an offer. But Paul must now get another investor to put up the balance. Will Peter Jones see an opportunity to partner up with his rival dragon? I'm sitting here thinking, yeah, good idea. But what about all of the major skip providers currently? And there's some big players. Yeah. Why have you not thought about partnering with them as opposed to competing with them? No, I think, I think it's, a, it's a fair comment, Peter, but I think we've got... We've, Do you really think it is, Paul? Don't, 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 don't just people like... No, I, I, I understand. The I think it's a rubbish idea. Well, bottom line is I'm not going to waste your time. And I think that I would be taking you off down a different tact. OK. Because I, I'd much rather look at a partnership with the major incumbents. Wish you every luck, but it's not for me and I'm out. Thank you very much, Peter. I appreciate you listening. Paul, oh, let me tell you where I am. Yeah. Um, I can't get excited about rubbish. Yeah, I appreciate your honesty, James. Uh, this is a problem, obviously, that... But I think what you're doing for the environment is very good. I mean, I think you're making a difference. I think if more businesses went down this route, I think it'd be good for everybody. But unfortunately, I won't be investing, so I'm out. Two more dragons out, and success or failure for Paul now rests with Deborah Meaden. Is she willing to match Duncan Bannatyne's offer? Who else is doing it? Who's your main competitor? Our main competitor, there's people doing individual waste stream collections, but not that can offer the, the entire package. And that's what you think is your unique? That's what we can do, absolutely. That's from, what you can yeah, do. Yeah. I quite like this. I'm, I, I'll... 
match that offer. So you have an offer? So you have an offer from two dragons. OK. So that'd be equivalent to £200,000 for 40%. Paul now has a full offer on the table, but Duncan Bannatyne and Deborah Meaden want double the equity that he offered. Will Paul be able to negotiate down on their demand? I know that I've got an idea of a figure that we would be prepared to go to. Um, I think it's slightly less than you're both asking. Um, so you're asking for the same percentage, Absolutely. are you, Deborah, as Duncan? So, so you'd both want. Did you say 20%, Duncan, for the 100,000? Yep, total of 40% for the 100,000. So total of 40%. Um, I think we'd be prepared to go to 33% if you would still accept it for 16.5%. Uh, I must be honest, Paul. I, I, I think there is a lot of risk in this business. I think having Duncan and I on board will certainly mitigate your risk, beyond, you know, but... I, I would have to see my return at 20%. Duncan? Well, uh, you know, I can only match that. So, and, and I think Deborah's right anyway. I think 40% is, is the figure. Do you want to think about it? Do you want to go and... You want to go and okay, can I have a minute? Sorry, yeah, I was, I was talking to myself <laughs> in my head. Yeah, thank you very much. Paul is trying to negotiate, but the Dragons are standing firm on their equity demand. The young entrepreneur must now decide if he's prepared to part with almost half of his already successful company. Decision made. Deal done. Thank oh, you. Yeah. excellent. Well done. Done, done, done. Very Very nice. Nice. Paul has done it. He's had to give away more of his company than he'd planned, but he leaves with one of the highest investments seen in the den and two immensely experienced business partners. Well done, Paul. Thank very good very pitch, but not a no-brainer for you, I would have thought, that deal. Obviously, they asked for, for twice, really, what we originally proposed. You're going to have to work the Dragons quite hard, though, and you think, I, I suspect that's what you think you're going to be able to do. Yes, this was something we weren't just wanting finance. We didn't just need the money. We needed help and advice and expertise, which they both have, so let's hope it's a successful relationship together. Very Thank well Thank you done. very much. Thank you.